welcome back to my channel. So I actually just realized that I hadn't actually recorded an, an intro for this video. So basically to keep it short and sweet and to not get the video too long because I obviously talk about most of it three months ago. It's the 25th of July, so like three, four months ago, I decided that I wanted to get back into running. I had done a lot of running in 2020 during lockdown and then I had really just fallen out of the way of it. So I have a Garmin Fibro Active 3 and on the Garmin's there are Garmin coach running plans available where you can put in personalized information about what your end goal is, what your current pace is, how often you run, the day you want to run the types of running you want to do and they will generate a plan for you so i'm not 100 sure like how customizable it is but i think it's fairly customizable so i put in that i wanted to do a 5k in 30 minutes which although i was running a lot i'm really not a quick runner so my plan was to try and do 5k in 30 minutes and i believe it was a 12 or 14 week plan i should have screenshotted the plans beforehand but they're a little bit weird in that once you start the plan the previous information disappears so by the time i was on like week one or two i had lost the previous week so i documented the process of this like kind of 12 14 week i'll try and include more information in the description box or if i can see my previous plan i will try and include the specifics of my training plan but it is the garmin running coach is the plan that i did so i documented the process of my 5k journey to under 30. Yeah, let's just get into the video so I'm about to head out on run one. So it's my benchmark run. So it is two minutes walk or jog, five minutes run hard, walk if you need to, and then two minutes run jog. So nine minutes all together. Actually have already done this run, but for some reason my watch didn't track it and it isn't giving me my next run until I've done this one because your benchmark run, if I'm right, actually they actually like look into how fast or slow you do it. And that sort of determines the workouts that I, they get out for you. So um, I'm on my day, day two of my period. So really great time to get out exercising. I have my hair mask in, hence the cap. It is quite sunny. I've is on even though it's literally the middle of the day because I think it's going to be kind of warm. I think I might take, um, because I'm planning to run entirely in one direction and then walk home because I need to just like get my steps and stuff anyway. So it might take something to throw over this when I'm done and I will let you know how I am when I'm back. I mean, I should be okay, but I'm pretty out of running practice to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to put my podcast on and off I go. First run done. I'm not going to lie. It's a struggle. So I did 0 0.92 miles in nine minutes so like a 10 minute mile um and i had to walk for 30 seconds my legs honestly feel as if they're dead my chest is also kind of sore i did one mile in 920 when i first did the run and that was 0 0.92 miles in nine so slower and i didn't have to walk the last time but the point is that i still did it so i'm gonna walk now for a bit for steps. So that is run number two done. I don't think I'm gonna check in like before or after every run, but I thought I'd do the first couple or any that are like slightly different. So that run was called like an easy run. Um, so the pace was like 11.30 to 12.30. I'll like put the actual details somewhere on the screen because I can't quite remember. It was five minutes warm up, 20 minutes of a run at this pace, which like I said, I think was around 11.30 to 12.30. Then an optional 10 minutes extra. So I think weirdly this plan has all optional extras. So you can like push it out more if you want to. I think personally for me, both for time and the fact that like I'm really only getting into it now like today I probably could have run an extra 10 minutes I don't know if that means in two days I could have run the extra you know I didn't want it to take away from the run since I'm really only getting back into it and also time wise to be perfectly honest I would like my runs to be shorter I want it to be less of it like I understand things take time and commitment but I think 30 minutes is still a decent time commitment. I'd rather not take 40 minutes. I have an hour for lunch. 30 minutes suits me a lot better than 40 because now I have my lunch in the oven. I can get showered. Yes, it was okay. I actually was running slightly faster than the pace. Sometimes it is hard to slow down. There's definitely days where I couldn't run faster than that. So I think I was running at about an 11 minute mile. So not running fast, but running. Hailstones came on basically as soon as I started running. They didn't stay on the whole time, but they were on a decent amount. So I'm going to go rinse my hair in the shower, but it's not wash day. So I'm just going to rinse it. I have another one to do in two days time oh i also forgot to mention sorry i'm talking so fast because i don't want this video to be ridiculously long i actually did miss a run because i did the first run the benchmark run and it didn't work so it wouldn't give me any more of the details then when i did the next one it was saying like okay well that should have been done on monday which i did do it on monday so here's like wednesday's run and friday's run so it was trying to make me run like thursday friday saturday sunday and i didn't want to do that i'm trying to just like do these things in moderation do what i can when i can so i just said i would really prefer to be running during the week so yesterday was a bank holiday so i didn't run so i would prefer my runs to be monday wednesday friday 
Friday because then I have my weekend. Today, I have, this week I have Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I did skip a run. So I have like two runs that are like, this was easy run and the next one is long, easy run. So it's essentially the same format. It's just, it's just a longer version of the same format. So I'm gonna go short. I might check in after the next one. I might not since it's basically just an extended version of the one that I just did. So I wanted to check in, so I don't think I've checked in about a week, but my run in. So it is Wednesday. I have done both runs this week and I've done both of them before work. So buzzing for myself in that way. And I see now that my run is supposed to be tomorrow. So I actually might skip tomorrow's run. So basically on Monday I did the step, it's called steady state run. Sometimes it can be a wee bit annoying that it doesn't tell you exactly what you were supposed to do after the fact. So it actually was a 10 minute warm up and I thought it was a five minute warm up. So I cut it, cut my warm up short after five minutes. And then it was 10 minutes running at a certain pace. And then it was a 10 minute cool down. So I actually did, sorry, I did a very short run because I cut it after five minutes because I thought that the actual body of the run was more than 10 minutes so I got confused basically and I thought like when I left the house I was like I'm not gonna have time to do this whole run before work because basically I thought the middle part of the run was bigger than it was so then when I saw 10 and 10 I was like no I can't do 10 minutes warm up and 10 minutes cool down because then what I thought was a 30 minute run is not gonna be like a 45 minute run and I had left it like just on time that I could do it before work so then I cut it short and then it ended up only being a 25 minute run but I did it either way and it was a much quicker pace and then today I did the easy run so it's basically just running at like quite a slow pace sorry I need to move because I'm squatting and I'm killing myself here it's an easy run so it's like a slower pace so I actually for the first time on this running plan <laughs> why am I looking like this on camera <laughs> I did the added extra. Love when you find a spoolie in your pocket. So I actually went for a 40 minute run this morning. I did three and a half miles. I don't want to do four runs a week. I only want to do three. So because I rescheduled last week's run to this week, because otherwise I would have just been doing easy run, long, easy run and easy run. And I want a bit of variety. So what I have left this week then is three runs because I rescheduled, which is long, easy run, easy run and steady state run. I might do the steady state run and cancel the long, easy run and the easy run because they're just going out for jogs so I might do a shorter run but at a better pace and then next week again I've got an easy run and then three other workouts I think what I will maybe try and do is do my easy run my long easy run and my steady state workout every week I don't want to just be doing the too easy because it might just be better to get a wee bit of distance but the only thing is is like I'm thinking now so the plan that I have started is to do it in 30 minutes I'm running an 11 and a half minute mile and I would need to be getting down to 30 divided by 3.1 a 9.6 minute mile so nine and a half it's two minutes off my current run which I know I can do because I've done it before but I'm just wondering what the plan is to build that up it was a lot more like drills and training in my previous training this is maybe just like more I run the stronger I get and then eventually I'll just be able to do it faster but that it just seems odd but I thought I'd give that update which ended up being far too long Thought I'd really quickly check in after my run. So it was my steady state run. So 10 minutes warm up, 10 minutes at about a 10 and a half minute pace and 10 minute warm up. So like theoretically the run should have been less than three miles because the steady state would have been like, le like, 0.98 miles and then the other two would have obviously then been slower so say like 0.8 or 0.9 miles so 1.6 like 2.6 miles but there was an optional extra five minutes so I did three of the five minutes because I was feeling quite strong and then I cut the run short kind of so I did the extra three minutes and then I did like eight minutes of my cool down because then I like sprinted at the end so I actually got that 5k in under 32 minutes I just kind of looked at my watch and saw how far I had left and to be honest I was pushing myself harder than I'd meant to because I just must have got mistaken because it tells you how much you've done in like certain segments of your run rather than overall so I thought that I had done more and so that's why I kind of did the extra few minutes because I thought well extra few minutes at this quicker pace which I actually did at about a nine and a half minute or a ten minute mile so a bit too quick for like this supposed training I actually basically overestimated how much I'd done so when I looked I was on 2.4 miles when I started my 10 minute cool down so I ended up pushing myself quite hard at the end I'll say what my best pace was I have two focaccias in the oven I'm gonna maul them up so my average pace was 10, 12, and my best pace was 7.28, so a seven and a half minute mile, and my average moving was 9.59. So pleased with that run, but absolutely wrecked. And I also know that you're supposed to follow your training, like you're supposed to follow your training and not like sprint at the end. Like I was on a cool down and I finished it sprinting, but I'm still pleased with my time. I'm just getting my shoes on now to go out for a run, but today is really or this week rather, is really the first week. So I'm actually on week four of the plan. 
it's the first week that I really, I just don't have it in me. So I am supposed to be doing my runs Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like I said, I'm only doing, sorry, I need to go change my socks because the socks that I'm wearing are my trainers come up, I'll show you them. My trainers come up very high up the back of my ankle. So the socks that I was wearing were gonna rub my ankle, so I'm gonna change them. The plan that I'm doing is four runs a week, but two of them are easy runs. So there's two easy runs, one long easy run. They're calling them easy runs, not me. And then one like of a, a drill or a more of like a training exercise, I guess. So I'm not doing one of the, the easy runs. Friday and Saturday, I didn't get my steps, which is really, really unlike me. And yesterday, I just honestly couldn't bring myself to go out and run. And then I was, I saw my friends in the evening. And today I'm gonna have to really force myself to do the run. So it's 30 minutes and it's like 30 minutes at that slow pace. And I will be doing it at no more than that slow pace. And to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna walk my warm up on my cool down because I'm still out for 30 minutes. It doesn't like it's time based, not distance based. So I'm going to walk my warm up on my cool down because I just, I don't know what it is. I've been really, really abnormally tired. I don't know, like, I feel like exercise is supposed to increase your energy, but then it's in. If I'm outputting more energy, which I went from nothing to running three times a week, then obviously that is probably going to be going to make me tired. But it's like the level of tired that I am is wiped out. It would be very odd if that was what was causing it. But I do always feel better after the run. So I just am wiped out. I'm so tired. So I'm just going to go do this. I'm going to run, walk five minutes, run 20 and walk five. So I thought I would show the goods on the bads. Like the last run that I did, I pushed myself further than my training. Like I sprinted the end and I got, you know, the five. K done under 33 minutes and I'm gonna go out today and be moving for 30 minutes and I'll say I'll get two miles done maybe like two and a quarter I need to be okay with that really don't want to do this run really don't want to run at all this week and plus I'm gonna have to now run Tuesday Thursday Saturday I suppose like running on a Saturday isn't the worst thing but I've been enjoying washing my hair on a Friday it's very easy whereas now I need to do it all on a Saturday morning so it kind of puts the pressure on a bit I'm gonna go run the camera is not getting the weather sufficiently and I'm about to go run in it. It has been pouring down all day and it's really windy. I'm trying not to be a fair weather runner. Just about to head out on my run. First run in, is it a full, yep, I haven't run in a full week. So pray for me. I need thoughts and prayers. I did my run. It was honestly quite tough. It was a time trial. So 10 minutes warm up, one mile, run as hard as you can and 10 minute cool down. I had to walk during my mile. I still got a 9.50 mile, which is like fine. I suppose it's not great. Let me see, 9.50 mile times 3.1, 29.45. So it actually would have me under a 30 minute park run, which actually is quite good. But yeah, so I had to walk during it which it was tough. And I basically walked my whole kill down. But the point is, is that I did it. Like I was saying about the thing that my mum always talks about is that it's the day after you haven't done something and it's always the hardest. And now that I've done it, hopefully I'll be good to go the next one. So now I'm gonna go rinse my hair, put a hair mask in and be, and be lovely. Just did three and a quarter miles in 30, four and a half minutes I think. So the run was actually a 30 minute run with an optional 10 minutes. So I wasn't gonna do the optional 10, but then I ran just like in one direction. So it made sense to run home. So I just misjudged my turn in. I thought it would be better to run slightly further on the way up. So actually I hadn't more to run on the way back. So I just kept running until I got home, which was just under 35 minutes. So say 0.25 miles. It is so warm outside, but I ran nonstop. Honestly, didn't feel that phased apart from the heat. I was running my gold was 11.09 to 12.09. My average was, my watch will tell me, let me just use my nose. My average was 10.58, so like 10 seconds faster, which over a 5K period is 30 seconds, so significant enough, do you know what I mean? Like the difference between being 30 or not. So I'm pretty pleased, I'm sweating buckets and I'm just gonna make myself some dinner now. Another run done, it was a time trial. Um, so to be perfectly honest, when I'm running the quick mile, I'm still having to walk. Um, it took me, I think I got it in like just over nine minutes, but I had to walk. It's also roasting, like this top is actually soaked through. I'm gonna take it off. I did 2.9 miles in just over 30 minutes. This is awful. But yeah, I actually, the thing is, I feel like I can run faster than that, but I'm not, I feel like I'm not pushing myself, but I am at the same time. Like my legs were wrecked. So I did what I could. I think I'm on week five or six of my plan. <laughs> 
do like a bit of a check-in as I am thought I was halfway but I'm actually more than halfway through my Garmin Coach 5k plan so I'm on week 7 of 11 but I'm only on week sorry I'm only on Monday of week 7 so I'm still more than halfway is my point so I will take a screenshot and put this in beside me as you can see my confidence level is like green but the purple means that you're going to exceed your target and the green thinks that they're they think you're going to get your target so at the minute I am in the green we're about halfway through it so I have only been doing to be perfectly honest two runs a week most weeks honestly the biggest reason why I'm not doing it is because of washing my hair I know that sounds really ridiculous but I really like to wash my hair sorry I'm sniffing loads but I really like to wash my hair on a Friday so that my hair is clean for the weekend so that means if I don't get my run done on a Friday or if I have like a really busy day in work and I'm not going to get a chance to do my run in the morning then it just kind of skews my runs out basically I should be doing one at least one more a week and I would like to try and do that so I'm really going to try my best this week to do three runs this week and do my run on a Friday and then wash like get my hair done in the morning get my get my run done either in the morning or in the at lunch and then I can obviously wash my hair during the day in the afternoon after work um, but I would think it, it should really push myself to the third run a week. I am I have to say enjoying the runs I'm kind of a wee bit more enjoying the ones that are just like long easy runs without like training so those runs the pace is 11.09 to 12.09 to be fair usually if I look at my runs like today my average pace was 11.51 so I was walking a bit 10.26 10.59 11.20 11.19 12.04 10 12 so i'm always like in the 11s i've been in the 12 once but i'm almost always in the 11s if not like maybe in the high 10 which would be having me come out at like i think like say 32 and a 35 minute park run like just depending obviously if i'm like 11 59 or 10 01 running slower than what i would need to do to do a 30 minute 5k i don't at this point think i would be able to do the 30 minute 5k like i have done 30 minute 5ks like quite a few times before and i've done a 10k in under an hour so obviously that would let like two 29 minute 5 case 57 minutes yeah about 29 minutes 26 28 and a half 29 so yeah and I haven't really been doing the long runs like long runs are our long runs that just seems a little bit excessive I'm saying maybe two or three weeks there's been a bit more like training brought in so there's been like hills I haven't done I've just ended up skipping them there's one where you do like a time trial where you have to like run your mile as fast as you can to be honest I've only ever gotten to like nine something and I usually have to walk during it gold pace repeats which again I haven't really done I have been just the way the runs have been falling I keep ending up just doing the easy runs which is probably why I'm not really able to get my pace down too much. So I have this week, week eight, week nine, week 10, week 11. So five more weeks of the plan left with my like race day supposing to be the 10th of July and I'm camping on the 10th of July and I have a weekend camping before that so like I'm not really going towards a race day I'm just trying to like get myself running a bit more so I'm just going to continue on with this plan and then I think even though I don't think I'll necessarily actually be able to do it I'm gonna start the plan from week one again at 29 minutes and just like incrementally work better but rather than my EMB really actually running a good 5k pace which obviously I would love to be able to do my aim is can't tell if it's my niece in the street or just another child my aim is to just actually be exercising and like running so running two times a week is a lot better than the zero runs a week that I was doing for months on end I ideally would like to get into a better habit of doing the three runs it's funny because a lot of people say like including like my dad like he would say like you really absolutely should be running and running at the weekend because that's when you have your time to run my hair is the issue which is really really stupid so maybe I don't know maybe I'll wash my hair on like a Thursday and then I could run on a Sunday that might be that might work or I could start washing my hair twice a week which might actually just be the solution. But then when day I do it? A Monday and a Friday? That would probably work, wouldn't it? That actually would work. Still wouldn't have me running on a Saturday, but I could run on a Sunday. Not that that's important. But yeah, I thought I would come in and just talk because I've been kind of just doing like wee clips after each run, but I thought I would kind of give an update on the running in general, which is that it's not going fantastically, but it's going. I think that's the most important thing is that it's, it's going in the first place. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wanted to give a quick update on my running. I actually am going to try and keep it quick. So I have good news and bad news. Bad news first, I've just looked. I'm on week 10 out of 11. My confidence is very, very nearly out of the green zone. No, wait, hang on. Okay, so my bad news is that my confidence is nearly out of the green zone. And I'm on 10 of 11 weeks. And I was about to say that it looks like I'm not going to be able to achieve my goal. On Saturday, I broke 30 minutes. For those of you who don't know what the park run is, um, it's week a weekly free timed event where runners across the community across a range of skills, areas, experience, whatever, can get together. You have a token, you sign up 
up as a member, you sign up as a runner, you get a token, and every week you get to go and you get a official timed event when obviously races and everything are free and it encourages anyone across any board of range of fitness levels. And my mum started running about six years ago, maybe more than six years ago, and has been doing park run since then. My mum runs like four times a week. She's in a running club. She's honestly an inspiration because she started running in her early to mid fifties and has done exceptionally well. My dad used to run as well. He wouldn't be able to run as much anymore, but he was a marathon runner. He was unreal and he took that as well. So my family are relatively involved in our local park run. So my dad volunteers now, he's a marshal and my mum runs every week and also volunteers. She does like the new joiner speech and stuff. So I have been going on and off now for about the last three years. I really haven't been going in like a committed way. I really actually haven't that got that many runs under my belt because I really was struggling to run. So I quite often would not run with a token. I would just run and not really clock in at the end. Obviously it has been closed for however long and it opened on the, what date is it now? 28th of June, which meant Saturday was the 26th of June. Park runs opened again on the 26th of June. So first park run since February of 2020. I got 29 and a half minutes. So broke 30 minutes, obviously. 29 and a half minutes. My personal best at park run, not my complete personal best, my personal best at park run and my best time in almost a year. So I'm delighted, I'm absolutely delighted. I was so surprised. I ran on my own. I didn't run with headphones in. I was doing one of my running plans, which was the goal pace repeats. I did like a wee lap of the course before the run. And then the run was half a mile at a certain pace and a quarter mile, half a mile, quarter mile. And then just the very last one, I didn't jog my quarter mile. I just ran it. And I ran into my cool down because at that point I was on the last like three kilo, 0.3 kilometers of the run. So kind of hard to tell because I still am kind of looking at my run and I feel like I couldn't go out and run a 5k in under 30 minutes except I obviously did like cross-referenced my watch and there's maybe like a difference of like five seconds but both are well under 30. I have achieved my time goal I feel like I haven't I don't feel like I consistently do that and I feel like that's because I haven't followed my running plan enough so I have a week and a half left I've got an easy run today they have upped the easy runs from the base being you're out for 30 minutes and you can go out for 40 minutes if you want to to the base being you're out for 45 minutes and you're out for 55 minutes if you want to. I don't even know if they have the long easy runs because they now must be colossal. I never really did those. No, they, they think they think they seem to have cut those ones out. So I have two weeks left. Technically, I have achieved my goal. I haven't been running. I haven't been following the plan as thoroughly as I should have been, but it obviously has worked and I got that time following a run. When I finish this plan, I think I'm going to move my time down to 29 and a half minutes because really I want to use this plan to just keep me out and running and doing something. And because of these easy runs, they just have you out doing like kind of jogs. The other plans that when you go back to the start again, you're going back out for like 10 minutes at a time, which is too little, but this isn't how this plan works. So I was going to go out for a run at lunch, but because it is a longer run, instead I'm filming this, I'm going to take a half an our walk and then come back to work and I will run at five o'clock so yes good news and bad news which is don't feel like I could run a 30 minute park run consistently or 30 minute 5k consistently I did break it and I did get a personal best so I haven't checked in in ages and this will be one of the last check-ins but not the last check-in of this video. So basically I did not do my race day. I actually got two 5Ks, the two park runs that I've done in the last couple of weeks. Both got 29.27, I think exactly the same time. So obviously underneath my goal time by 33 seconds, which is significant. But I got sick last week. I feel like this is like the second or third time in this video that I've talked about being sick, but I got sick last week. So I actually was fine on Saturday morning, like I'm just on the tail end of being fine. And it just I thought we were gonna run in the morning and then we were running at lunch and then I just wasn't sure if I was gonna run and then the run just basically never happened I was on a family camping trip so the run just never actually happened so I just left it so it is now Monday and I will either run today or tomorrow it'll be my last run it'll be my race day run probably will be tomorrow so that I can kind of get a good night's sleep and hit it in the morning because I am off work hopefully I will get my race day in I only need to actually check if my watch still has my race day because I missed it I might have to I might have to reschedule it but I will get my race day in I'll get it under 30 minutes and then I will wrap up this video and tell you my thoughts and how I got on, which I'm sure you'll have been able to tell because <laughs> I've been talking about it the whole video.
so this will be my last check-in of this video so very unfortunately i actually missed my race day so last week i was quite unwell and um, i had a gum infection and also just a bit of a cold and um, we were away family camping saturday which was the day that my race day was supposed to be was roasting and i still wasn't quite feeling myself i was feeling better but not quite feeling myself i do regret not running to be perfectly honest like in hindsight it's the best thing to do at the time i just re wasn't really up for it um, and it also may or may not have forgotten to put the like cap on my pump up mattress so it may or may not have lost all its air throughout the night I may have had a really bad night's sleep just wasn't really feeling up to it i wanted to wrap up this video because all in all if you have a garmin or you're looking for a watch i would really really recommend one of the garments now i don't know for sure off the top of my head which garments offer the running plan so the vivo actives absolutely do i don't think a forerunner does i don't know all of the watches now the watches are pricey but they're really really good sports wearables like they are very good with their information and their data the running plan is fantastic so as an update although i did not do my race day the two park runs i got a 29 and a half minute park run so 30 seconds off my original time and i got those doing runs so it wasn't my race day run but they were kind of runs but like one of them was like run a 10 minute warm-up one run 20 minutes at like this pace run a 10 minute cool down and i was able to like modify the pace to get in at a 30 under a 30 minute park run i went from not really running it at all to running a 57 something minute 10k which is very good so i am really really pleased i'm really pleased that i decided to pick up the running again because I wasn't doing anything like I wasn't really exercising at all I was walking but I wasn't exercising like I wasn't getting my heart rate up so I'm glad that I did decide to get back into the running I think the watches and the plan is a really good way to get into the running I didn't do the running every single plan that I was supposed to do the plan that I was doing was a four day running like it's too actually for me that is too much but I did three days most of it because two of the runs were like replica runs and as of next week I'm going to start a new plan so I'll just mention it in my vlog so I'm obviously not going to do a video about it again I might try a different coach just out of curiosity and now that like I'm running more so to like keep myself fit and to enjoy it like I'm happy enough if I get a coach that gives me four or five workouts a week and I decide to do three of them and if on a day I decide to do a fourth I decide to do a fourth I'm happy enough with that but like I'm not running competitively like I'm not preparing for anything I am going to take part in the Belfast City Marathon as a relay runner but like that's that's a while away anyway and the distances to be honest I don't mean like fine like they're no bother to me but charity thing and it's, it's a community thing so I'm not running for like mad competitiveness but I may start to kind of prep as I get more up to it but I'm really really glad I did it I'm really glad I got myself moving and got myself active and if you are considering a Garmin or considering running the Garmin running plans are fantastic because you can modify them now I will say if you're an absolute beginner I do think some of the runs like a bit tough for an absolute beginner I would say maybe you'd have need to have like an intermediate level of fitness because no it might be because the runs that I like so it asks you you know how many miles do you run away what's your pace what's your this what's your that and so maybe the information that I fed it is what is telling it to make me like run a little bit harder but I have been surprised in the past where I've been like I feel like the information that I gave that would indicate to them I have hair on my nose I feel like the information that I have given them it would indicate that like I'm not that fit but the runs that I've done have pushed me which I suppose is that is what you want is you want to be pushed but it's fantastic having it on your watch like telling me what the next step is and um, the times the paces and like the buzzing and um, so my next plan is to literally just go down a minute and work my way through and maybe someday I'll be a fantastic runner but I do think you probably plateau at a point so that is everything I hope this video wasn't too long and I hope you find it informative and if not informative I hope you find it entertaining so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye